Welcome to our Ash Wednesday prayer service. The Lent season calls us for renewal. It challenges us to show compassion to those around us, see the possibilities of goodness in all creation, and to reflect on our wrongdoings. We hope that you take the opportunity this Lent season to spend time in prayer and reflection. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, help us to begin this holy season of Lent with humility. We know that we could be better. May this Lent grant us the grace and motivation to hear your word and embrace the call to be renewed in mind and heart. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is... Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Response, have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Response, have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Response, have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. O Lord, Open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Response, have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ since God is making his appeal through us. We entreat you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made Christ to be sin who knew no sin, so that in Christ we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For the Lord says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on the day of salvation I have helped you. See now in the acceptable time, see now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before people in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. 
But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen, not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Forty days may seem like a long time, but really it's not. Time goes by so fast. And so I invite and encourage all of us, as we begin this Lenten season, we hear the words, repent and believe in the gospel. To repent means to change. We have to change in order to grow. And so the words of the gospel always bring us hope and joy and peace and comfort. Jesus invites all of us to make this journey, and it's a journey that we all do together. And so I just invite you over the next couple of moments, think about these next 40 days. What is it about your own life, your own heart, that you want to change, just to make better, just so that you can truly be the person that God wants you to be? I just invite you to think about that as we now watch this little video reflection about the season of Lent. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders, Father Rob Rochelot, and all who minister to God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that our Lenten journey be a spiritual one, and that we receive a renewal of mind and heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the less fortunate, especially for those who do not have a warm home or food to eat, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and for those who ease the burden of the sick, especially our health care providers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in the hope of eternal life, especially our family members and friends who we remember at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord hears all the intentions we just mentioned and the ones we hold silent in our hearts. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer in French. Notre Père, qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié. Que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour, et pardonne-nous nos offenses comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal. Amen. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. May the God who loves us so generously keep us from all harm and bless us with every good gift. May God's word be in our hearts and fill us with lasting joy. May we walk in God's ways, always knowing what is right and good. Amen. Holy St. Joseph, pray for us. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.